will you allow yourself to get out of here in time to watch the Raiders tonight? <laughs> uh, I probably won't be watching the Raiders. Uh, I got to focus on what's on my plate right now, and that's why uh, our football team, I'm watching our playbook or watching our film, uh, correcting the errors of what happened today and continuing to get better. Uh, the NFL, watching that will come uh, when this season's over. <laughs> Jordan, how do you think the first week has gone for the defense? Yeah, I think the first week has gone really well. I think that we're picking it up very fast. We got a lot of new faces in there uh, doing a really great job. And uh, I'm really excited for the group. I'm really excited where we're heading. Uh, we got great leaders from the coaches. We got great leaders on the field. And uh, it's, it's really exciting and encouraging to see. Is there more depth in some places than you expected? Absolutely. I think the D-line has more depth than we expected. Uh, everybody knows the back end has really good depth, and we have really good depth at the inside linebacker position as well, as well as the outside linebacker. I feel like as a whole unit, we got a lot of depth, so that's really nice. Speaking of depth, what are your thoughts on Cam Good? He racked up a few sacks yesterday. Yeah, Cam Good is a baller. He's, uh, he's very fast. He's very instinctive. Uh, he's a great player, and we're very fortunate to have him on our side of the ball. On the other side, you have punches. What are your thoughts yeah, punch is the same way. We got two very physically gifted guys out there uh, setting the edge, rushing the passer, and dropping in the coverage very well. Can you talk about what you're seeing out of some of the young linebackers, Joey and, and uh, Tattersall and yeah. some of the other guys? Yeah, Joey is very, very physically gifted as well. He's, he's long. Uh, he can run really well. He can rush the passer. passer. I think his biggest thing is just going to be learning the playbook and getting comfortable out there. Uh, we got a lot of moving elements on our defense. Our defense is very complex. And uh, for a freshman to come in, it's, it's a lot, uh, especially I don't know what his high school scheme was like. But I think he's picking it up very fast. He's going to be somebody we're going to rely on this year. And I'm excited for his future. And then Tat is doing a great job. He's picking it up very fast. He's very smart. He's physical. He's fast. Uh, he has a very bright future. And we're going to be counting on him this year as well. With Evan, is there any of that roseville Granite Bay High School rivalry? <laughs> no, no rivalry. <laughs> when, I, when I have somebody from my area from the 916, I love it. Uh, you know, I treat him. Right? It doesn't matter. The rifles in high school, whether it was my rifle or not, it's uh, it's nice to have somebody from my area out here and at my position as well. Patrick was talking about how first week everybody's pretty enthusiastic and raring to go, and it's week two and three that get tougher in camp. And talk about what you guys need to do to keep the energy up and, and keep the focus good. Yeah, I think that we just need to continue to focus on the present and focus on every day, just getting better, focus on our goals, focus on working on our craft, all the little things that make us the players we are. Uh, I think it's important to just focus on that. And uh, we're going to go through adversity. We're going to go through adversity in camp. We're going to go through adversity in the season. So it's important that we persevere and that we we grit. Uh, we, we go hard and um, we fight through our time, our tough times that we're going to be going through. For a guy like you, a veteran, you have to take a, some of the young guys aside and say, okay, this is not going to be as easy as first week. Yeah, absolutely. That's some, I think, the as our inside linebacker group, uh, our, our team, our position name is the tone setters. We're going to set the tone every day. And uh, we, all of the older guys, Garen, Weave, I, uh, Colt, uh, all of us are really trying to take the uh, younger guys under our wings, show them the ropes, show them, you know, this is what we're going to do at the inside linebacker position. We're going to run to the ball. We're going to be, we're going to be physical. We're going to play hard. So, um, you know, as camp goes along, it's, it's definitely a culture shock for the young kids uh, coming in. So, I think it's important that we're going to that we stay on top of them and make sure that um, they continue to to work hard and stay focused. How's it been having uh, Evan play next, to, uh, Weaver play next to you? Yeah, and I think. Just go downhill a little bit. Yeah, more. yeah. Weave is a very uh, aggressive linebacker. Uh, Garen's doing a really great job as well. So uh, having those two, um, you know, playing with me and, and them playing together as well, because we're all rotating right now, um, it's, it's really nice. You know, I, I feel like whoever I'm out there with, uh, if they're out there, if I'm out there with them, that I feel comfortable that they're going to do their job and they're going to do it uh, hard. Are they taking more of a vocal role this year? What was that? Are they taking more of a vocal role this year? Yeah, I think all of us inside linebackers are, um, especially within our position group and then just overall with the defense. Like I said, we're the tone setters. We're going to set the tone every day. So uh, it's important for us to make our presence be felt and be the heartbeat of the defense. I think most of the defensive guys who have come over here uh, during camp have talked about in the second year knowing the scheme so well you can start disguising things. Are you seeing some opportunities there that you guys might be able to do some things that you couldn't even do in the 
last year. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you're in a system for longer, you get more familiarity with it. You know when you could disguise. Uh, you know uh, your responsibilities, and that enables you to get out of position a little bit to show different coverage, and then get back in your response, uh, get back in the box. So, uh, just overall, it's it's been really great uh, in year two, just getting a better understanding of the defense. Everybody's doing a really good job at that, and uh, as we do that, we're going to continue to be able to disguise and show different things uh, to mess with the offense a little bit. How much does it help to have secondary with the experience you have for the, for the guys in that front seven to, to know you can rely on those folks? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I think in the secondary they do a great job, um, and I know that they're going to do their job. I don't, I don't have any worries. Um, I know that when they're in the run fit with us, when the safeties are in there, that they're going to be there, and we're going to be able to use them. Um, so it's, it's nice in the front seven to know that we have people back there who are not going to only cover, not only going to cover well, but also uh, going to defend the pass really well. Can you talk a little bit about your impressions about the new running backs? Yeah, so Chris Brown is obviously very big and physical. Uh, he's done a great job. I think he's picking up the offense really well. Uh, I talked to Pat about it a little bit yesterday, and he said he, he's doing a really good job. He knows the offense, and um, he's out there playing hard. So it's encouraging to see uh, when, a, when a true freshman comes in and, you know, the stage isn't too big for him, and he's doing a really good job. I think Johnny's doing a great job, too. Um, I'm getting... And when we do one-on-ones, we're getting some reps with the, you know, I've gone against Chris, I've gone against Johnny, I've gone against Marcel. So uh, Marcel is obviously a very good back as well, just fast and shifty. Um, he's a little older, came from junior college. So, uh, but I think they've all, they're all doing a really good job, and they're, they're, uh, we're excited for their future. You, they each bring a little something different. Yeah, yeah. I think Chris is obviously the most physical one. Johnny's more uh, elusive, and I think that. Uh, Marcel is very um, elusive as well. He can cut and run all over the place very fast. Have you tried the chicken cauliflower in the blender yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not in camp. I don't got a blender with me, but I actually got it at the ho I'm staying at a hotel right now, so I got it at the hotel, so I still make my sassy shake at night. <laughs> but no chicken and cauliflower, just my oatmeal protein, nut butter, and my uh, flax seeds and cheese seeds. Yeah. So we all eat. <laughs> they get stuck in the Yeah, they get stuck in the blender too. <laughs> I gotta wash it, yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks, good? Jordan. Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you so much.